It's awesome to see you folks here. Thanks for coming back day after day to watch me play War Hospital. If play is the right word. I feel like I'm bumbling my way through War Hospital and, uh, and struggling with most of it. I think it's good, though. I think it's a good game. I like the challenge. I like the mental stress of trying to balance everything. And I also like the way that there isn't any exactly one right way of doing things. I love the fact that you can do things a bit differently, take different choices, try to get through the casualty lists in different ways, diff like choice between amputating, not amputating, pay the price one way or the other. I like the way that uh, it, can, um, it, it can appeal to different people's play styles. So, uh, we left things yesterday in a bit of a hectic state. We have, let's have a little recap as we get going here. Uh, the general surgeons, oh, he's not going to make it out. Okay, he is now. <laughs> we were going to lose one there. Good job I came in to have a look at that and didn't just let that uh, just roll on. Uh, you can have a rest after you've got the serious one. Let's get the critical guy in first. Actually, you can go in there. And you better have a rest there. It is... Uh, yeah, we are in quite a, quite a state here, aren't we? We'll bring him out of retirement and him out of retirement. They're just resting, but you know what I mean. Uh, to deal with these guys. Um, that was quite bad. Over here... Uh, we have we have a, a big pile of serious stuff. This is the one that's slowing us down, but it is it is just the way it's going to have to go, and we'll just try and work our way through them as best we can. And if we lose some more of these, the soldiers I don't want to lose, the civilians, if we, we can probably afford to lose them if we have to. Welcome back, Catherine. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. And Hondo. Hey, Mark. Everything is frozen, so there is no work today. I figured you'd catch your stream. You gave me a scare then, because when you said, hey, Mark, everything is frozen, I thought, oh, Crap, is my stream frozen? Is it broken? <laughs> but no, that's good to know. That is good to know. No work today is always a good day. It's kind of cold here in the northeast of the UK too. Uh, it's like snowing a little bit, but not laying properly. But yeah, it's a proper cold day. We've got those Arctic winds. Makes you glad to be sat behind a computer screen, actually, and not out on the trenches, on the front lines anywhere uh, in this weather. Ah, right. So we are in August. Let's let's roll on time slowly and ease ourselves into yeah, the stream today. Is a new shift. I know we're over capacity with patients. We this is one of the things we need to upgrade. In fact, it might be one of the things we set to upgrade. Was it? We've got. It is. It's already in production. That's good, actually. Uh, what are our engineers doing in that case? How fast can we get through this? The, the medics are probably going to be exhausted before too much longer. The nurses are currently okay. I'm going to take her out because nobody likes her. And put her in, in a place. Uh, let's see if she can... She's always exhausted. She's going to get tired soon, right? Just looking at there's a little bar under there. Is that an energy meter underneath? I can't zoom in. There's like a... Can you see it? There's like a white blip there. And there's like a faint bar behind a name that extends out this side. You can see it on top of the other names here. Not so much there. There's an accent over the E. Just that white blip there. That, and that's, that's part of a sleeve. I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. I was saying there's no energy meters on these guys. There's nothing on these, so it's probably not. It's probably just a graphical glitch, eh? Good point, Mark. It may be cold and snow, snowy, but we've never had to be in a, a trench shooting people. Well, I haven't, certainly. Been, I have had to work outside in cold weathers, but uh, that's, that's nothing compared to what uh, uh, people in the armed forces have had to go through. Um, so, yeah, we'll be grateful for small mercies, eh? Anyway, the engineers are working through this. We have reasonable stock of medicines at the moment. It is just reasonable. It's not It's not great. We might have to put someone onto food production. I can order the food. I think I can order the food. Let's have a look at the train station. Uh, the schedule. We have, we have 61 food coming in. So whether I 
ordered some. I maybe I maybe ordered 40. That looks about right, doesn't it? So cool. We don't need to order any food. We don't need to make any food. Let's carry on. Right. Sir, Let's speed this up a little bit. Sir, new patient arrived. New patients? Please don't be the green ones. They're the green ones. We'll look at that in a minute. Someone's stable. He's at rest. I don't mind. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to die if we put him out there. He's going to die if we put him out there. We can get him in there. As soon as he comes back from a rest, he's, he's good to go in. Actually, I'm going to switch those two around. He's dead. <laughs> good God. It's, he's dead. <coughs> Hang on. He wasn't dead before. We'll switch it like that and we'll put the rest. If I move the rest now, we'll come and do one. We'll come and do one and have a rest. And over here, um, yeah, this seems to have gone wrong. They've got the operating stamp on, but I don't think they're operating on him. He's not supposed to be. He's supposed to be. I don't know. The game's the game's gone a little bit funny. Uh, serious. I wonder if we can fit him in there. Ooh, this this is this is tough. Okay, we can clear these one-hour ones fairly quickly. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. We'll see how that goes. Sir, a dispatch from HQ. HQ is pleased with the way you handled Sergeant Major Matthew Baker's case. Oh, he got promoted, didn't he? He was, he was due to be promoted, so I had to keep him alive. He's decorated and a valued soldier of the British Expeditionary Force and sets an example for all the soldiers in the army. HQ has made the decision to provide you with additional resources. Use them wisely, Major. Two extra staffing points. Understood. Right. Right. What can we do? What can we do with that? If anything... I could take an engineer. Oh, I could take an engineer. I think that would be awesome. I could take a scout. Scouting stuff is good. I think the engineers are so critical. We're just going to order an engineer. And future ones don't seem to go up in price like the surgeons do. So, so that's good news. I would like to save up Sir, and get medics are on the way. some extra surgeons. I think. Who's tired? The nurse? Yeah, that, that she, she went very quickly to, to that, didn't she? Okay, well, we've got an, a, a shift going on there. As long as we have someone working in there, then that's, Sir, that's fine. Oh, we have a doctor levelling up. Sorry, he's probably not a doctor. He just looked like a doctor. I don't know why I said that. I'm not quite sure what doctors are supposed to look like. He looks well-dressed like an officer. He is Bo Carter. Doesn't he, though? I can imagine him. On the wards, going up and down with a clipboard, saying, Hello, uh, Mrs. Miggins. How are you today? Have you recovered from your... Whatever. I don't know why Mrs. Miggins would be on a, on a military ward, but... Anyway, let's get to the point. So, he is a medic. He's currently... Works more efficiently and eats once every two days. Works significantly better when working with others. Work better at the cemetery. It's a bit too restrictive. Perform better at ADS. Tires significantly slower when working solo. Hmm. So I do go for the solo one or the working with others one. Or perform better ADS. I'll do that. Make him warm. Sir, new patient arrived. Look at his I didn't look at his bio. I should have looked at his bio. Shorter rehab because this patient's will is strong. Okay, we've got a terminal. Oh, he's a soldier as well. I don't see us getting this guy seen to... Um, what if I put him in here? No, he's... I don't see that we can, we can help him, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. I can't help all these civilians. I can help some of the civilians. 
But in doing so, it's no, we've just got to accept that some just, just aren't going to make it, sadly. It is sad. I decided to treat them. It's my fault. It's wrecking my stats. Patient has severe burns. It seems his body's already started to heal. Sir, new patient arrived. Oh, still, more patients. This is a plus two. We don't need any more power on the front line, so... I might need to start some morale here. But no, I'm going to stock up the orders. And then we can use them for all sorts of really cool and important things. Hey Duke, finally you can watch live. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you can, uh, you got time to watch us today. You've been catching up on the VODs already. You are in good condition. Jules, we could do with you leveling up to make you go a bit faster. I wonder if we can speed up anything in that. So this is the, ooh, what's this one? Oh, I've already got that. We've got the option to... Uh, we've got... Mm, we can, we've got a thing that can improve rehab times. Or increase the chance of success. I think I'm going to go for increases the operation simplications by 100%. It also uses less new medical supplies on them. I think that's the way to go for that one. That increases the speed of rehab. Now's the use of emergency measures. We don't really want that if we can avoid it. And what's this one? This is the advanced dressing station and increases the ambulances by one. I mean, whatever we can do before this battle to get that better would be good, but I don't know if we can. Oh, it's actually, that's not a long build. That's only eight hours 20. I thought this was gonna be like a 60 hour build or something. Uh, the surgeons are coping. It'd be nice to get these upgraded, I think. And they slots for specialists more. Also, I really want to do this warehouse one, which I think is this one, isn't it? It's a 52-hour one. I'd like to do it before the end of the chapter, because someone suggested that when you start a new chapter, your warehouse starts full. I don't know if that is true, but it sounds very, very attractive to me. Okay, that's a good one as well. So we've got that going. It's going to be on next. Duke, you yeah, usually watch the VODs while doing work? <laughs> that's what I like to hear. You're making good use of your work time. It appears the toxin did not have time to spread throughout the body. So we just follow normal procedure because we don't have the sodium chloride washes. I don't know. I haven't seen that improvement listed, so I'm not quite sure. It might be under some other name. Who's exhausted? These two. That, that's okay. I think we're at the point now where we can possibly cope with what we've got. Actually, let's put them on 12-hour shifts so there's always someone in. And the tired ones... Uh, you can put it beyond shift two, so you're currently resting. We'll see if we can make that work. Sir, medics are on the way. I mean, we are working. We are working with the casualty. It is going. Stable, 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 stable. No one's about to die in there. We're operating on these. Okay, I think we might be able to get through them. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Sir, new patient arrived. It's a shame. I want to say something here. It's a shame we spent most of our time looking at a screen like this to see what's going on. I mean, it's a bit foggy and dark at the moment. Because when you actually zoom in, the streets and the buildings, they do look, they do look nice. The art style is nice. I do like it. But we sort of missed the bigger picture when we zoomed in like that. So it's, it's a bit of a shame. Hey, Christy, nice to see you again. How's things? Oh, it's just more of these, unfortunately. We've got loads of stable civilians. We can throw the civilians in. This one is going to die. Um, it's just because we have soldiers. Actually, he's not a soldier. He's a civilian.
might keep them alive. What if I do this? No, we absolutely we don't we don't uh, we don't put soldiers behind. We'll have to watch because we've got these guys coming in. Right, so at the moment he's going to die there. He's going to die there. But he's not going to die there. Can I get one of these in here? Right, that's a soldier. Um, we'll treat some of them if we can. At the moment, he's not going to die, so we'll leave it like that. And we're going to put this guy in the list. It is kind of important, I think, to to keep an eye on the soldier's health. Uh, in that case, we, we don't want to lose any of them. Focus on production first so you can save your drafts. Yeah, that, that would be a good idea. Although we should have a lot of drafts building up before long. I'm thinking... I don't know. I don't know what the next chapter is going to be. So I can't really plan ahead for what specialists we need without hearing any spoilers. And I'll, I'd will i prefer not to. It would be useful, but I'd, so I'd lost this prefer not to. Um, engineers. Uh, if he's going exhausted, he's got to come out and have a rest. I need to get that built, because that's going to help with production of all these things here. We currently have a decent amount of this, so... Oh, no, actually, this is something we, we need going, isn't it? Ah, I wish I could afford to take someone out of there, but I absolutely can't. Sir, engineer is on the way. We should have a new engineer coming before long. Yeah, he's coming on the next train at 8.18pm, so we should have him soon. <laughs> it is a big stack of the denied folders, yeah. Sir, patient is cured. To be fair, most of them are civilians with incurable tuberculosis or something like that, so... Sir, medics are on the way. I just don't think there's anything we can do for them at the moment. Someone's in that pharmacy. Yeah, it's this chap. Okay. These are fine resting over there. Um, I'm going to have to switch these in. We do need a small production of everything coming along. But it's the chemical stuff that we really need. So when someone gets rested, I'm going to have to put them back in there. Sir, engineer is on the way. Sir, operation was successful. In the air after a bath or when I wake up. What? Sir. Patient is cured. Oh, let's have a look. Sir, operation was successful. Great, this is great news. Wrong button. Uh, I want this one. Where's our truck? Truck sent ETA 23 hours. So it takes a day to get there, and then it seems to take an undeterminable amount of time for it to fill up before we can return it. It takes a day to get back with 10 alcohol. Sir, operation was successful. Weird. It's weird, that truck mechanic. You don't get the option to get the people anyway, but you can build the housing. That would be nice to get the Sir, housing done. Operation was successful. Make sure we've got space for extras. Sir, medics are on the way. That must be a change of shift. By the looks of it, everyone's just... Oh my god! <laughs> uh... There's nothing I can do here. Okay, sadly, I mean, that, that does free things up, but uh, I'm going to put the next stable soldier in. He can't even survive there. He can possibly go there. So which is, he's likely to fail. Unless I throw these to the lions, which we're going to have to do. If I have a rest, he's dead. Yeah, this is sad. But the civilians... I sh probably should never have agreed to treat them. Um, unless we could have got this upgraded and extra trauma specialist hired. Which I don't think we could have done. I'm just putting people in the bin at this rate. This is terrible. Huh.
This guy's a longer operation and more tiring than this. As sad as it is to see. And he's shorter and we can get him out, you see. So if I, if I do things like this, it's really tough to decide on here. Um, this didn't help with the civilians, but just the decisions that we're having to go through here. I guess it's been a massive gas attack and that's, that's part of the problem. Sir, operation was successful. Have they fixed the trucks? I don't really think so. Appears the patient was bitten by a rat. The symptoms indicate the rodent was infected and the patient has a tetanus infection. I don't have the anti-tetanus serum. That's fine. I don't mind longer rehab. There's plenty of room in rehab. Sir, nurses reached the hospital. The nurses, I think. No, the medics. Someone's exhausted in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is put someone... You don't have any preference. You're, you're better in the graveyard, actually. Oh, hang on. It's one of these guys. They don't have preferences. They're happy to work there. Time is 8pm. He's going to be exhausted. Um, bring him in here. You can just go out and rest. You can go over here. They're on a 12-hour shift. That's going to work out fine. Let's put you on to... Let's do this. Shift uh, one. Yeah, do it like that. So these guys are resting up. These guys are working. Is Norman Head... I have a feeling Norman Head... Let's find him in here. Oh, no, he just doesn't want to work at the ADS. That's okay, then. That's fine. Hey, Tom, nice to see you. How's Baldur's Gate 3 going? Will letting the civilians die help with the food consumption? It might, Jason. I'm hoping, well, it will. I'm sure it will. But I reckon there's a like a hidden, um, hidden quest there that we can't see that to save X number of civilians, and that will give us some sort of bonus. Or if we get under the required amount, some sort of penalty. This is just my guess. I can't see. There's nothing, no text to suggest as such. Sir, but new patient arrived. we'll see. Right, we're taking you out of resting straight away to get the next one in. Actually, can I go... Can we go one? We can get one. We can save one here. So we'll do that. And can we fit another civilian in there? It's a two-hour one. Let's not do a two-hour one. Let's do two. Oh, no. It's gone from one hour there to two hours there. So it's 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 happening. I'm going to risk it. And over here... Stable. Someone's going to come in here. It's an 11-hour operation. He won't survive that. He won't survive that. He won't survive... There's nothing we can do. Unless I move the rest, he still won't survive that. He's he's too he's too far gone. Sadly, nothing we can do with that one. Oh wait, hang on. No, there is. There is. Bring him back. There is. We can put him in there because this guy's not being operated on yet, and that actually works. He's just had a reprieve. He was very very lucky there. <laughs> Hey, Wealthy, you've been thinking about Hearts of Iron, but everyone who recommends it has a thousand hours in it. I have nearly a thousand hours, I think. I haven't looked at the number. It's a lot. What I would recommend doing, and I need to do this at some point, but I keep learning new stuff about the game, hence why I have not made a, get a guide for it before. But I am going to do it in the near future because loads of people have asked me to. But I would recommend going to Quill18's channel. Let me find the link for this. Sure, you, you, you folks will probably... He was the one I was watching play... Um, uh, this game, War Hospital, the other day. So if we do a search on here... Hoi4 Tutorial. I'll put this in a link for you. Because this is... There, he's got a playlist here. This is what I watched for three or four hours before 
I started um, playing Hearts of Iron 4 to get my head around it. It doesn't cover everything and the game has changed a bit since then. But there's, he's got a seven part series there. It will get you the basics and I, I'd recommend it until I can pull my finger out and get a guide made. I've got the ideas for the different sections I'm going to make. The, the army, the navy, the air force, the industry, supply and resources and stuff like that. But uh, my problem is time, sadly. But yeah, it's a good game. And just buy the base game if you get it. Don't go for the DLC. You don't need any of the DLC to enjoy it. Um, they don't add anything that you can live without. But if you find yourself getting into the base game, understanding it, really enjoying it, some of the DLC adds some, some interesting new stuff. Oh, I think we took somebody else out of... Uh, have they just arrived? So whichever way I do this... That's a 14-hour shift right there. Okay, someone's going back into Denied. I can't see us working that some other way. That's rough. That is rough. Is that Engineer here yet? He should be. Right, so we should have a spare engineer. Excellent. He's exhausted. What do they want to do? We prefer to work in the engineering depot. Right. Take these exhausted people out. Um, it's this one where we desperately need someone. So you go in there and give us some morale. That's on 24 hours at the moment. You go in there. And we need to just rank up a few more of those meds there. And as that's holding strong, we can go without that one. So let's put him into there. And get some more chemical stuff produced. You stop taking in refugees at around 25 food cost and the, the incoming from the train pretty much covers it. Yeah, it is a lot. I think I can probably make some if I get some spare engineers, but... Uh, let's have a look. It's just over here. At the moment, this is... This is holding stable. So, we're not going to press any buttons and mess stuff up there. A load of civilians, which if we can... If we can get them in and seen, we will. We'll see what we can do with that. Sir, engineers reach the engineering depot. Well done, engineers. I've taken a bit of morale hit because of the people dying that we've denied at the moment. Which is kind of tough. Uh, let's have a look. So I'm thinking that we might want to get some morale improvements at some point. Oh, there's a big fight coming here. That could be a massive one. Okay. Well... Can you go in there? Oh, I'm trying to put him in pending. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's gone green. And we've got a couple of plus ones. What have we got in here? Do we have any plus threes? Someone with loads of combat experience. And a plus two. Um... The plus ones aren't that great, so we're going to hand them off. Because we are going to need some orders. Some drafts. Sir, patient is cured. And we should get some more coming out rehab for then that we can deal with. I mean, there's a lot of people in the clearing station still. We just can't get them in. Oh, this is our mine that we've blown up. The tunnel. The enemy has set charges to destroy it. Bloody Germans! Dear heavens. Uh, sir, we should dispatch more medic teams to the advanced dressing station. There probably are a lot of wounded in the trenches that need our help. It says not. Patient has severe burns, but he's healing. Good. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, it says three, six. These might be deceased. Let's have a look at the medic situation anyway. So we've got some fresh ones. So in the advanced dressing station, I'm going to put them on 24 hour shift there. Just to burn through it, because they actually stop working if there's nothing to do, which is great. I think what we need to do is, is top up this one. So we've got two, three on shift one. Make sure I haven't put Norman Head in there. Shift two. So we've got two teams on and two teams off at any one time. Sir, medics are on the way. Right, we'll have to see if that works. Three patients died after being de denied admission. Yeah, as morale drops, we lose work efficiency as well, which has a bit of a knock-on effect with uh, with everything else, sadly. There's nothing else in there. Can we fit in a stable one before then? Can we do two? Can we risk going... Unbelievable. Okay, that is excellent. We might be able to blitz through a load of civilians and, and save them. Actually, we better put these on the list so we can see. If nobody else comes in needing the chemical ward, we might be able to deal with this. Just maybe. We'll see. Okay, let's put the rest there. And then we get those two done. Nice. I'll take that. The bullet flew right through, leaving a clean wound. Sir, new patient arrived. No, they haven't. <laughs> Cannon fodder let 100 patients die. I don't think that's an achievement that I really want to be proud of. Sir, may I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients. Oh, here. Yeah, here we go. I didn't see that. Did that just update? Because I'm sure it said zero when I logged in, then it went one, then when it went two when I logged into it. Clicked on this. Weird. Hey, Robbie, how's it going? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Coming into Twitch chat. How's things? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's uh, anything too major. Let's have a look at the details. So, no service history or personal information known. I would like to inform you that we managed to catch a German officer during the last battle. His dog tags indicate that he is major, a major named Eric Freundel. However, during his capture, he was severely injured. As he could possess sensitive information that could be used by HQ, I ask you to only keep him alive so we may send him to HQ for interrogation. That's okay. We, we keep, keep him alive and then we reassign him to HQ, I, I guess. So, I ask you to reconsider. We do not need to schedule extensive surgery for him. We just need to keep him alive. Amputation would suffice, sir. I'll deal with the medical decisions around here, Angus. Okay. I can't actually amputate. I don't have the abilities for that. Yeah. New oh, here we go. So new patients are coming in. Stable. That's fine. Switch those around. It's quick to train, uh, to treat some of these guys. Going well. Send him to London. I don't think he's probably going to like where he does get sent to. Right, come on. We're nearly finished with this clearing station. We get the next one. That gives us more beds. Uh, it seems that fortunately the bullet stopped on the bone without doing much damage. Shorter operation. That helps. Things like that always help. I just want to keep a, a constant check on this. No one is forecast to die in this, which is excellent. Apart from the, the terminal ones, which we're just going to leave in there. I'm not even going to take them out to look because I don't think there's going to be much we can do. Oh, you're a, you're a three strength one, right? You, you get priority then if you're the, all else is the same. Yeah, we can work on that. Sir, operation was successful. Tired medics. 
I wish I could stop the medics getting exhausted all the time. What time is it? 1.47? So that's six hours before the next shift. Right, let's switch the shifts over. Let's see if they can go 12 hours. These have got nothing to do. Actually, if these have got nothing to do... Um, I can take them out for a rest and put them in there. And they're happy on that um, scheme. No preferences. I think he prefers to work alone, but there's there's quite a lot of burying to be done. Death, new, patient arrived. new patients. I'm sure they can find a hatchet for amputation somewhere. They did slaughter chickens earlier. Oh, we've got new ones. I can fit them in, I think. Okay. That one, I'm not so sure. Uh, we'll leave that on the decision until we, we get someone turfed out. Come on, engineers. It's nearly done. We've got 20 seconds and we've got this improved. Six patients died due to being denied admission. I've just received intelligence reports. Germans are... Germans are what? I hope that was nothing too important. Do the procedure by the book. It seems the gas agent was diluted and is not as strong. We believe we can use small amounts of supplies to treat the injuries. Yes. Absolutely. The engineers did something good. Right, let's go and take a look at this. So the engineers. And this would be the electric mixing machines. Oh, they're the ones that produce... Um, get the pharmacy kicking out things faster right absolutely go and get that done and we need we have a, a stock of alcohol at the moment the food stocks are okay i think i think we put do full firepower on this and get it done in four hours and that's going to really ramp up production here and then i think I think we're good for production. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Until the next disaster, no doubt. Sir, operation was successful. Good. In here, we've got three. We've got stable, stable, stable. More civilians. Can't fit them on the list anyway, so we'll come back to that Sir, in a bit. operation was successful. Sir, new patient arrived. Sorry, it's the wrong one. Um, we were thinking about this, weren't we? Oh, hang on, there's an extra battle being scheduled in here. I think I should probably start stocking up. Try and get this blue. And hope the morale is okay. Hey, we've got an upgrade. Possibly. Let's go and see what she's like. So this Emily Osborne, who's reckless, works much less efficiently, and absent-minded, works slightly worse at the CCS. And tight. I need to put her in something else if she's in the CCS then. So this would exchange for absent-minded. I mean, we can't get rid of the reckless one. Ty is significantly slower and working solo. Working slightly worse isn't a bad thing. It's not as bad as being reckless. Works much better at rehab. Okay, I can put her in rehab. Which is quite good. Or uh, I can get rid of that absent-minded. I'm going to get rid of the absent-minded. The engineering depot. For the simple reason, where is she at the moment? She is... She's currently in the casualty clearing station. She works... She works worse here. She works better in the operating ward. She always was one. And I think she was as well, wasn't she? Can we switch them out?
And I'll just put her on shift two. They're happy. She doesn't have preferences. I thought Arabella had well. Let's have a look at my nurses here. I need to get my head around this. So, she speeds up operations. She does. I thought she did. And Eva Deeks also does that. So they're, they're the two really for the operating ward. Maisie Black... I tell you what, let's do that. So, those two want to be in there. You, you can come out. Even though you'd prefer to be in the operating ward, you don't need to be. Although I have a spare one now. Just maybe just leave them resting. Right, so that those two are set. That's okay. Right, back to the staff. Then she... is fine as long as she's... Oh, she works slightly worse at the rehab centre. So Claire Stevens wants to be in the, the, the rehab centre. She steals resources every day. But wants to be at CCS. Emily Osborne is just reckless. And she wants to work somewhere. Morale slightly increases when they work. They're not great, some of these, are they? Reckless and absent-minded. <laughs> you feel called out, Cron. Reckless and absent-minded. That's a dangerous combination. You know, it's too hard trying to balance all these. People are just going to work where I've got them at the moment. Well, I think she could maybe go over there. It's f it's fine. I'll switch them out as people yeah, get tired. A, 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 a bad nurse is better than no nurse at all. Upon reaching the nearest HQ, the scout commander notifies the officers about the strange cases he and his team encountered in the abandoned farm and village. The scouts report worries the officers and they immediately order an investigation. They seem to be especially interested in the man in the wide-brimmed hat. They ask the scout team to take part in the investigation and check another village near the abandoned one to check if the outbreak is spreading. We get 10 orders as a reward. Nice. Do we? Yeah, we need to go and order that on though. Hey Raga, nice to see you. Don't abuse those doctors that much. The doctors are actually doing a good job. Is it rumours of doom we're doing? Yeah, a sign. Sir, 21 hours. A new mission. Okay, I've lost my position. Seven patients died after being denied admission. Uh, what happens if I put this guy on the end here? Dead. Dead. Lives. Uh, go in front of this gun, good one. That's okay. I think we can work with that. I'll try and keep another one alive. And as someone comes off the list, we'll try and put, squeeze another one in. The wide-brimmed hat man, is he spreading disease? He could be. I know, the free nurse's traits. Well, that's why she was free, probably. <laughs> We've done a lot of treatment here. Nurses reached the hospital. It's unfair that we're getting a second Sir, attack up here. I regret to inform you that Major Howard Barger was found dead near the mailboxes. It appears that he committed suicide. He was holding the letter covered entirely with apologies and the names of his squad mates that were killed. Who the hell was Howard Barger? There's everyone in there, and they're not even in alphabetical order. I'm not looking at that. That's madness. Um, uh, okay, so... Sir, operation was successful. Howard... Oh, here he is. He finished rehab and is fully recovered. And then committed suicide. And we've got another one in here. Um, at least they're good. Wait, these are all good. Weren't they, weren't they stable before? Has something happened to improve the situation? Can we get this terminal guy out? He's not dead yet. 
Hang on, can we not see this? I can bring them all out and put them back in again. It doesn't matter. I don't think we lose anything for that. Right, now that we've got this out, there's no soldiers in that list, is there? No, okay. So the terminal one... Well, that one can come back in. Do you think I can fix... No, the, the, unless I put them on... Unless I do that. I can save someone. Okay, so if I can save someone there... If I take the good one out, can I save two? I can't save two. So you are... You are gone, but I might be able to save some of these critical ones. And the ones in good condition can maybe just, just hang about a bit. Okay, so let's take the civilians out. I'll leave the soldiers in because I want to keep an eye on them. He dies regardless, so he does need to go in there. But the serious one... Okay, we can, we can keep people alive a little bit longer. The only reason I'm pushing the civilian ones up early is because they only take an hour to get seen. And we can maybe get through them a bit quicker. It's, it's taking some risks with the soldiers. It's also meaning that I'm not actually getting the soldiers through into the rehab center, but it's an hour. It's, it's a couple of hours. It's not major. It's, it's okay. This game is hard. Yeah, it is due. It's Sir, lots of things. The Howard Berger one might have been scripted. I don't know. Another one. It's just more of these. So many more of these. It's the disease from the civilians. Whatever that disease is, and we don't actually know. I want that to go blue so much. Okay, the engineers are working. And it's kind of key. Kind of key, we get the engineers done. Very mentally challenging. I wasted time on which one, Raga? Let's have a look. Another one out. Someone's exhausted at the cemetery. Hang on, I better check that before. Ah, oh, okay. 24 hour shift. We've got our solo grave diggers. They're working 24 hour shifts there. I think Logan Mills prefers to work here. So put him in there and put him in there. Put that on a 12 hour shift system. That's okay. Let me go and check this as well. Okay, there's nothing, nothing that people are waiting for. Pharmacy's tired. The medics. Oh, that was the medic team. Sorry, it's the engineers in the pharmacy, isn't it? Right, so one's exhausted. We've got a better stock of these, so that's okay. Alcohol is currently okay. I could order, I've got 26 orders, drafts. I could order some more alcohol because it's it's quite efficient to produce. But I don't know. I think we're managing, so I can I can leave someone in there. I'm going to put someone in there. <laughs> These poor sad sods are working 24-hour shifts here. Right, the electric mixing machine. Let me see what we can upgrade next. So we got this done, which is more beds and more slots for nurses and medics. We've got this one. Decreases the speed of patient condition deterioration by 10%. And this at the end, this allows us the, the three-shift system. And that's just 10 beds for patients, which is a good one. This seems like a really good one, so I'm going to improve that. And I'm going to put someone... Um, I only need to put him in for a second. A sign. It's okay. He will rest up. He, I don't need to sign him to rest when the building, they will they'll rest themselves on this job. So that's that's okay. It's just to get it assigned. So I've spent the resources. Oh, we have a doctor there. Uh, for anyone who's recently joined us, wondering why I'm, I'm saving every time we do this. There are two reasons, but the main reason is that there are a bug that can, there's a bug that can cause the game to crash when you open the screen up. Now this is really nice. So now 
we can get this is Norman Head who works terribly with hysterical so we can get rid of this um, no we can't we can't get rid of hysterical oh I can that will just get rid of it this is much worse at ADS or I could change the extroverted I could change the passionate but I don't want to change that it's nice that once they've got three if they level up further you can swap things in I, I like that so currently others working with them perform slightly better, but he works less efficiently. And I can change that for tires significantly slower and working so solo. That would be possibly better, but this just gets rid of hysterical. So I'm going to get rid of that because that's a bad one. And that frees up a slot for something better. Hopefully next time. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Oh, the guy who shot himself. It was a waste. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Sir. Patient is cured. Ooh, okay. People are waiting assignments. Oh, these guys are waiting assignments. They're all... Oh, wait, no. Hang on. I'm just going to... Right, excuse me a minute, folks. I'm just going to save the game and I'm going to reload it. Because... Unless I'm going mad... When I'm clicking on this, it's saying zero in here until I click on the surgery ward. And then it suddenly says two. Or however many there are. It's twice, I think I've seen it. So we are going to return to the main menu to make sure we come out with that. And I'm going to go back in. Because there's a few funny things that this can glitch out. Hey, Wheezy. Did you see it too? That bit of a bug? Or am I, am I imagining things? There definitely wasn't three people on there when I saved the game, was there? There definitely wasn't. <laughs> right, okay. He's going to come off rest in a minute. I could order the doctors off rest now. In fact, I probably should. So let's take them off. Including him. But uh, this one looks seriously messed up. So uh, we're going to get them in first. And the same there. Actually, he's going to be exhausted immediately after that. But that's okay. Those two are expected to be fine. And you're in, uh, you're in good hands there. They're okay. We can put them to the back. Wheezy Wombat, thank you for the prime sub. Two in a row. Thank you very much. Love it. Ghost patience, maybe. Maybe. Addy, you reckon chapter two is the hardest? I don't know what we're going to see in chapter three yet, so... Scary things to come ahead, I think. They're dead there, but we can squeeze them in here, right? The, uh, when we start to see these guys start to, to die by pushing civilians in, that's when... Uh, yeah, that's, that's when we're screwed up. I'm going to let him have his rest, because he, he does work... Super hard, this guy. Oh no, he's, he needs he needs to have his current rest to finish. Um, they're exhausted. This guy's critical. At some point, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna have to push a soldier to the front because these are just filling my slots up. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Sir, operation was successful. Melville Tuxon died after being denied admission. We're taking some hits to morale. Wheezy, the games I play are exactly what you look for. Great content. Cool. What other games are you looking forward to over Sir, the next year then? New patient arrived. And that question is to everyone because um, I'm trying to plan my uh, my next few months of, of live stream games. And I'm not quite sure. I mean, apart from finishing Starfield, but that's more of a penance. I feel like I've got to torture myself for that uh, just to finish it and then review it and then, then probably never touch Sir, it again. Patient is cured. The cemetery, someone's complaining at the cemetery, are they? Uh, nope, all looks good. Nurses, looking good. Engineers. Oh, God, 97%. Come on, I need that finishing, because that, that makes the pharmacy work faster and the engineering depot. This one makes people last longer in the casualty clearing station. Space Marine 2? Yeah, that's later this year, isn't it? September, I think. 
Akash, you have to warn you that chapter three is lagging so much, even in normal speed, that you don't even want to play it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Duke, good call. Upgrade the faster rest rate. That would be awesome. Yeah. Expeditions, if you like realistic uh, off-roading exploring type games. What's Expeditions? I I haven't heard of that. I thought you meant Expeditions Rome, which is like a, a turn-based squad tactical combat thing where you uh, have a group of Roman soldiers and you're trying to assist with the Rome's empire expansion. Dominion 6. Probably replay Hearts of Iron 4 a bit more. You managed to conquer China as... Communist China. Good challenge. Oh, Manor Lords is April? Oh, Manor Lords. Manor Lords is, is going to be on the stream, yeah, for sure. The hospital. Absolutely. Manor Lords is, is good. Uh, well, it was when I tried it, so I'm assuming that it's going to be good when it uh, gets its full release. Good condition. Good, that's okay. We need to push production of this, because these guys can churn through these quite quickly. So the engineers, who just finished this, uh, no chaps, there's no rest for the wicked. You can get in there, they're obviously not tired enough. Five hours to improve that, so that's going to be good. And then we probably need to push someone into this one. I'm going to switch you over onto there. And then we get more. Oh, actually, this is going to start producing more. It's up to 2.6 per hour. That doesn't sound like a huge upgrade, does it? Twenty-five percent faster. Oh well, it says it is. I'll Sir, trust it. Operation was successful. Oh, we've got a, a bonus one here. Severe burns, but he's already healing. Understood. Much to your amazement, you're very much enjoying yeah, this. I think the developers have handled a very difficult subject with dignity and very well. Thanks for streaming it. You're welcome, Katie. I had the same concerns about whether it would be dignified the way it was played. But I, I think it is. Sometimes it feels a bit... Or I can be a bit glib about putting patients in a denied treatment box. But I do think it highlights the difficult choices that medical orderlies and physicians would have had to make at the time uh, when the triaging patients... It sort, of, it sort of brings it home, doesn't it? It makes it realise, okay, we definitely can't save everyone. Um, there's some tough choices to be made. So this guy's just um, just got an easier operation because the bullet passed right through. The rehab centre's starting to fill up. This double battle here is going to cause a lot of problems that we need some stocks for. Okay, let's let's dare to roll this on a bit faster. Till the next disaster. For you, the biggest problem was to bring all the people alive from the trenches. Yeah, yes, I'm I'm good. having that trouble at all as well. It's like um, they're just not getting cleared out the trenches fast enough, and I'm not quite sure what I can do to speed that up. Hey, T Pode, how's it going? You're yeah. You're looking forward to Manor Lords 2, Catherine? I like my medieval stuff. I like history stuff, but that had a really nice theme and a feel to it for bridge uh, city building. Sir, operation was successful. We do seem to be losing some people. Right, in here, we've got someone down to serious. Okay, let's go. We can go all the way to there before this person needs a rest. That is awesome. They're currently stable. Okay, oh, they're serious, that's why. So they need jumping forwards. And... Those poor old soldiers at the back. Yep, they get pushed down the list by the civilians. But I, I feel like we are getting through the civilians now. And I feel like these might go through pretty quick, so... Sir, doctor is starting in the I am going to buy some alcohol. Because we're not making it fast enough. So it's one. It's just one. I think that's going to do. 